In this video I will walk you through the features of the CSX P341 pedometer. Here you can see a pedometer that we've already been using. I've set my daily step target for this pedometer to 6000 steps. You can see the progress bar in the left side of the display. We are currently three quarters towards our target number of steps. We have done 4768 steps so far today and the time is 18.55 so we need to walk some more steps to reach our target of 6000 steps by the end of the day. If we press the mode button and you can see the mode button on the back of the silicone jacket there This shows that we have walked 2.33 miles so far today. If we keep pressing the mode button, we have burned 209 calories and we have been active for 35 minutes. And the total number of steps we have walked using this pedometer is 6,426 steps. The total number of steps goes to 99,999, so it can be useful for tracking a week of walking. Press the mode button again, and then it returns back to step mode. If we take the pedometer out of the silicone jacket clip, we can access the memory button. The memory button is the bottom button, which you can see here. If I press the memory button, this shows what we walked one day ago. If I keep pressing the button, two days ago, three, four, five, six, seven days ago. If I press it again, it goes back to one day ago. So you can see yesterday we did 1,658 steps. If we press the set button, and the set button is the button just below the mode button we can then view the rest of the information for this day so one day ago we walked 0.8 miles we burnt 72 calories we were active for 14 minutes and then it takes us back to the number of steps we walked and you can view this data for each of the days in memory. So if we press the memory button again, so press the button at the bottom there, two days ago, and we press the set button, we can view the data for each of the days. So you can view all of your data for each of the seven days. This is really good for tracking your progress over the week and if we now press the mode button, this will return us back to step mode. The really good thing about this pedometer is it uses 3D walking sensor technology. So you can put the pedometer in a pocket, in your bag, clip to your hip or hang around your neck, and it will monitor your steps very accurately. You can just attach it somewhere convenient and forget about it and then occasionally check to see how you are progressing for reaching your step target for the day. A tip for getting the most accurate step count is to make sure that the pedometer does not wobble or bounce around as this may add extra steps. For instance, if you are hanging the pedometer around your neck, put the pedometer under your clothes to hold it tight to your body. Another useful feature of this pedometer is it has 10 steps error correction. This is to make sure that it is counting steps when you are actually walking. The pedometer waits until you've walked for 10 steps before it starts counting the steps. Once you walk more than 10 steps, it will then start adding those steps from 10, 11, 12 onwards. This helps to make sure the pedometer is counting the correct number of steps. Some of the other features of the pedometer are that it displays a low battery indicator when it's time to replace the battery. 
Sometimes people mistake the progress bar on the left side for the battery indicator. You can see here we currently have seven bars and they refer to our progress through the day showing how many steps we have taken. The battery indicator will look like an actual battery and it will display on the right hand side next to the time. The pedometer will also automatically go into sleep mode if it has been left idle for three minutes. You can see that here. This helps to save battery power and as soon as any movements are detected the pedometer will wake up from sleep mode. If you want to view the pedometer while you are not moving you can also just press a button on the pedometer to wake it up. If I just move this pedometer though you will see it instantly wakes up. If you have any questions using this pedometer please get in touch at csxprosupport.com and we will try our best to help.